My name's Dennis Dinchcomb, MBE. I'm the Centre Director of Ball Playing and Riverside Youth Project, which is where our Centre of Excellence Boxing Gym is uh, for the Western Counties. And one of the things that we've taken on is a Parkinson's group, and we've developed Boxing for Parkinson. I've got a balance problem, and I find after the boxing and the keep fit and the stretching and moving, it helps a lot, so I'm uh, continuing to come and it's tough and he says stretch yourself and I think that's right and I think it's a little bit easier each time. Last one! Ready? Three years ago when I was asked would I be prepared to work with a group of people. I assumed it was kids, I was wrong. I've now got probably the oldest bunch of kids there is in boxing. Um, my youngest is about 44, the eldest is about 86. Um, at first I was a bit concerned about that, but what I've seen, actually, these people are boxing just like they would in any boxing gym anywhere if they went into it. I was informed by a friend of mine who said, my mother's seen this thing about boxing for Parkinson's. So my initial reaction was, how can you box with Parkinson's? You've got something growing in your head. But it's non-contact. And when I came along, I thought, yeah, this is really good because I'm getting a feeling like I'm achieving something week on week. And again, I, my big thing is balance problem. My balance had improved within the first three weeks. And I mean, I could only just stand on two feet. Now I can stand on one leg. And it just goes to show that Dennis and uh, Jim have put together is working. You see these people that can't walk when they come in. They've got terrible tremors. And yet once they start the exercise and the brain starts to work again and everything in the body starts to work, they start to get the feel good factor, they feel good about themselves, they get confident, their self esteem builds every time they achieve one of the techniques or skills and the reality is this, they have been to a boxing gym, they have learnt to box and they can box. Bearing in mind, it's a non-contact boxing scheme. They will never ever hit each other at any time. They may do pad work, they may punch bags, skip, just, but they will learn the techniques and they'll learn like any other boxer, able-bodied or otherwise, that will go into any boxing gym in the country. What we've managed to do is launch this nationally, so I'm very proud to have been able to do that with England Boxing endorsing my programme and uh, Parkinson's UK. Perry has both dementia and Parkinson's and we were really busy beforehand um, and before we came I don't think we were getting enough exercise and Perry was getting weaker and weaker but now he can walk on flat uh, smooth ground and he can walk half an hour quick rest wow. and further and we were only doing 15 minutes before. Yeah, it's very impressive. How do you feel? I feel that yes, yeah, it's given, given us a, a, a hidden strength, really. I think the fact that I would set out on quite a long walk previously, I didn't have anything. Uh, is a good. Thing. Good out. Front good to out. the back. Good out. Good out. We had the guard; it was there. Okay. And now, basically, I want you to be able to just sit down a little bit on your back leg. The idea being, it keeps your back straight. Okay. So to take this a little bit further, any level two coach wanting to take this on, take it on exactly the same way you would do if you had a brand new bunch of little ones come into your gym saying, mister, I want to learn to box. And the reality is, these are like your brand new little ones, except they're much older. But they need to learn right from scratch, right from the beginning. That gentle way that we bring them in, the way we, you know, we take time and effort to show them each skill properly. 
because of Parkinson's, their uh, thinking process is affected. What we've got to do is get the pheromones working again. And to do that as a coach, you have to work a little bit harder just to make sure that your technique is perfect and what you show them is right and what you get them to do, you get them to do it properly so that the mechanics actually work for them. Each individual is different, of course. Some will have disabilities and so on. We work with each individual to fit that. But the most important thing is to get them as a group to socialize just like we would. Get them to join the big boxing family. It's theirs, make them be part of it. And then all of a sudden, you watch the change in these in several weeks. It's absolutely amazing.